morning everyone welcome to this weekly vlog so actually it's gonna kind of a half weekly vlog this one because it's already Thursday today I did explain in my previous vlog that I'm I'm trying to limit my use on my iPad because I think it's contributing to my back and my side pain so I'm really limiting the time that I spend on it and so I decided to do a weekly vlog instead of a daily vlog just so that it cuts down on the editing time hopefully um so yeah I'll still share I'll still share with you what I'm eating what I'm getting up to and any rambling thoughts that I have thank you so much for your lovely comments on the last one I, I will reply to them all um and I have read them all thank you so much but yeah Thursday today um we're gonna head out today go across the river and do a walk uh, at a place called Slapton Sands but probably we won't walk along the beach we'll probably walk around there's like a nature reserve just behind the beach so we'll probably go and walk around that and then this afternoon we're going to a place a little village called Cornworthy um, where my mum works and we're going to meet her in the pub and have a cup of tea or coffee or whatever in the pub this afternoon so that should be really nice I'm taking my lunch with you which I'll show you in just a minute and yeah, I'll, the weather's okay actually, a bit cloudy but pretty nice, so I think it's going to be a nice day. We haven't had loads of rain here, um, it did rain a little bit on, I think it might have been Tuesday, but nothing nothing major. I know some parts have had really heavy rain and we definitely need it here, but yeah, we just had a, a small amount, so I don't know what the weather forecast is going forward, but we desperately do need some rain. Anyway, hope everyone else is doing well. Let me know how you're getting on with your weight loss journey in the comments below. And have a good Thursday, everyone. Thursday morning breakfast is one of my chickpea flour wraps. I've got yogurt mixed with ground flax seeds. I've got blueberries, bananas, some hazelnuts, and then some sweet freedom chocolate fudge syrup over the top. And then this is my lunch that I'm going to take out with me. So I've got big salad, which has got lettuce, grated carrot, red cabbage and broccoli. And there's also some sunflower seeds in there. And I've also got some hummus, which I've put in a little pot there. And then in that one, I've just got some dressing, which is olive oil and apple cider vinegar. And then these are out the freezer, a portion of quinoa bread, and then Martin and I have got a portion of the lemon drizzle cake I made. We've just missed the ferry, it's just across there, behind that sailing boat, but it's, there's worse places to sit and watch the world, as Martin's just said. So we're going to sit here and wait for the ferry to come back to take us across to, we're going to head towards Tor Cross, I think. We're here at and is it Lay or Lee? Lee, I think. Lee, Slapton Lee. Oh, Slapton Lay. Slapton Lay. And it's L E Y, Slapton Lay. So, yeah, we're going to have a walk around. But first things first, of course, is a cup of tea. I've got raspberry leaf tea today and some cake. This is the lemon drizzle one that I made for del of Deliciously Ella. And I throw, you know, I cut it up and froze it and then I just take a portion out of the freezer when we want some and actually it's, it freezes really well. So yeah, it's a good one. See you after our walk. We decided to sit on the beach at Slapton Sands, which is actually a pebble beach, but it's called Slapton Sands. So we sat there and ate our lunch and just sort of soaked up the sun and the atmosphere and everything it was really nice and the lunch was very yummy and delicious that was so nice just sitting on the beach eating lunch and just yeah watching the sea and watching people play the, the beach was busy that's why I didn't really vlog much of it because obviously you know you don't want to get other people's kids in there or whatever but it was really nice sat there on the beach now we are going to head off to Cornworthy and meet my mum at the pub for a cuppa we had well I had a cappuccino so did my mum at the pub and also a lime and soda and we sat outside even though it was a bit drizzly it was really nice had a good old chat it was quite a nice pub 
no, none of us had been to it before. They had like a really cool Alice in Wonderland mural outside. And yeah, lovely, lovely afternoon. Tonight's dinner is one of these organic coriander, carrot and coriander soup sachets, which I've not tried these before. I bought them ages ago and I've been meaning to try them for ages. Mm, doesn't look great, but we'll see. And then I've got corn on the cob and some Marmite on toast to go with it. Hi everyone, it's Friday morning now and we've just been for our walk in Brixham. It was a bit cloudy first thing, but it's actually looking quite sunny now, hence why I'm squinting as usual. Hope everyone's well. Thanks for all the lovely comments on the last vlog that I did. And I hope you're so far enjoying this weekly vlog. Um, Today got a few jobs to do around the house actually sort of admin -y type things and I need to go down into Brixham to see the estate agent nothing exciting sadly um, but yeah just bits and bobs I want to do some cooking I'm probably going to make some flapjacks because tomorrow I'm going to Plymouth to see my sister we've got a sisters only day tomorrow in Plymouth can't wait for that and I'm going to make something that I can nibble on the bus because it's quite a long bus journey. Um, we were going to go to Exeter and I was going to get the train but there's a train strike tomorrow so we decided Plymouth in the bus instead. I had a text message from my doctor saying that the scan had come back normal which is great um, but it still doesn't <laughs> explain what's wrong so I've got an appointment with her, not not Wednesday coming, but the one after. So it's quite a long wait, but she's really good. So, you know, it's it's fine. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll, I don't know what she's going to do then, but I'm sure she'll have a plan. So I did speak to another doctor on the phone just now and, um, yeah, she was quite reassuring. So that's all good. So happy about that. Well, you know. Um, I still want to know what's wrong, but we're kind of getting there, I suppose, by eliminating certain things. Um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about these that I've been sent, which are Burry Burry, I think is how you say it. They are little essential oils. I was very kindly sent them, and I do love using essential oils. Um, there's all different. I've got rose, rosemary, rosemary, which is really good for hair apparently, and also for um, memory. Chamomile, vetiver. Never heard of that one before. They come in little box like that, which is nice. And then in this one, I've got lime, verbena, gardenia, and neroli. So I'm going to actually do a few things this morning with these and I will show you what I'm doing after I've shown you what I've had for my breakfast. For breakfast today I've got one of my chickpea flour flatbreads. I've got some avocado which I just sort of mushed up with lemon juice, salt and pepper. I've got a fried egg, some mushrooms which are cooked in balsamic vinegar and some broccoli. So it's a nice big high protein breakfast today. So I've just done a bit of cleaning in the house and I want to just you know, make it smell nice. So I'm going to use this uh, Neroli and one of the easiest ways of course to use essential oils is just to use uh, an oil burner. I got this one years ago in Fuerteventura and you know you just put a little, I don't know if you can see it in there, there's a little tea light in there. Put some water in the top and just a few drops of whichever oil you want. I really like Neroli um, just as a kind of a general one. So I'm going to burn some of that now. And then I'm going to also make a room spray and a spray for myself. And I'll show you how I do that in just a second. I've got two little glass bottles here and they need to be glass. And I've just filled them up with boiling water and I'm going to let that completely cool. And then this is the spray that I like to spray on myself and I, I'm going to use the verbena because that's got a nice lemony, fresh kind of smell to it. Um, I don't really wear perfume, I don't really like artificial things so this is, I always uh, make this. I like lemongrass as well but again you can experiment with different 
whichever oils you like but that's the one I'm going to make now and verbena is really good actually for like insect repellent they don't like the smell so you know if you're out and there's midges and things it's a really good one and then in this bottle I'm going to do a room spray um, and I'm going to do lime this time because I think that's nice and fresh and quite summery still so I'm going to um, let that cool down and then I'm going to add 15 to 20 drops of each oil give it a shake and then put these like pump things back in and then they're just ready to go you can buy these little bottles on ebay or amazon or whatever um relatively inexpensively and like i say you can you can play about with the different oils that you want to use um these make a lovely little gift um again at christmas you can make some lovely kind of Christmassy room sprays or you could use lavender if you wanted a relaxing one again whatever kind of smells you like and you can make them different for each room in the house or you know if you if it's the one for yourself you could do a different one for the daytime and the evening the possibilities are endless so I'll just let those cool and then I will add the drops of oil to them I'm just making a couple of things from the deliciously Ella cookbook just um, something to have for my dinners for the next couple of days and then I'm going to get on with the gusto lunch so I'll just show you what I've made now for the dinners I don't know if I can show you it's a, a noodle salad cucumber and cashew noodle salad I have changed it slightly so I'll flip you around and show you so here's the recipe um, in case you want to try it I didn't have sesame seeds so I've left them out and I also didn't have any um, cucumber and avocado so I put broccoli and peas in but I did the dressing as the recipe instructed and it is delicious so here's what mine looks like and yeah I'm, that's going to be my dinners for the next few days and I mean you could have it for a lunch you could have other salads with it or anything it's really yummy I have to say so that's going to be another one of my kind of favourites and it hardly took any time at all. I used rice noodles which you don't even need to cook them, you just pour boiling water over them. The dressing took two seconds to make. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that one. Here's today's lunch. We've got Serbian style kavapi pitas with kaimak cheese and chips. It looks yum, I have to say. There's all sorts of yummy things in there, lots of flavour. So yeah, I'm going to go outside and enjoy this. That lunch was very yummy. Um, I'm just going to have a shower before I head down to town. And I was reading earlier that rosemary essential oil is supposed to be really good for hair growth. And um, my hair has gone very thin and when I was doing Slimming World, it would fall out a lot. It's got a lot better since I've started eating more healthy fats and things like that but I still thought I'd give this a go and one of the simplest ways is to just put a couple of drops of the rosemary oil in in with your shampoo when you wash it so I might as well give it a go as I've got this one and yeah I'll let you know how it goes in a few weeks or months or whatever I don't know how long it takes to have any effect but apparently it's used a lot in the Mediterranean for to help with hair growth so we'll see. I've had a very productive Friday afternoon, managed to sort out my clothes and also get some work done, been down to the post office. We did go to Brixham to the estate agent which was fine but it was so busy in town we didn't really stay, just popped into Tesco's because I'd run out of oats so I wanted to get some more. Um, yeah and now it's nearly time for dinner so I'm going to go and have my dinner and then I will catch you all tomorrow when I'll be going on the 8 o'clock bus to Plymouth to go and see my sister for the day. <laughs> sister in Plymouth and we headed straight for Waterstones. We wanted to have a look at just various different books, the travel bit we we're interested in and obviously the cookbooks. We found some lovely ones actually. Then we went and had a coffee 
or my sister had a hot chocolate, I had a coffee, very nice it was too. We went in a couple of other shops and then we headed down to the Barbican in the in Plymouth, which is a lovely area of the city. And we sat and we had a Greek souvlaki pitta with chicken in it and it was absolutely divine and so nice to just sit right by the water's edge. Could have almost been in Greece actually. Such a lovely day and lovely to spend time with my sister. When I got back, I did a gusto meal for Martin and I, which was the spicy halloumi stew with sultana couscous. And that was absolutely lovely. Really enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. See you next Sunday. Bye.